Welcome to Pink Digital News. In my previous video, I highlighted the recent updates from Corium and spoke briefly about Corium being the enterprise-grade blockchain, also referred to as EGB. What this essentially means is that Corium is the first EGB, a new generation of blockchains that is geared towards enterprise needs in compliance with ISO 20022. This gives Corium the ability to launch DeFi applications and protocols for businesses of any size. So in this video, we will delve further into EGB and how this applies to the financial markets and so on. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to this channel and like this video. Now, what are the key attributes of EGB networks? Compliance with ISO 20022 requirements, real-time settlements with transaction details while not exposing confidential details of parties or subjects involved, provision of an optional KYC feature on-chain, possibility to operate within the required AML regulatory frameworks while providing anonymous transactions by default when DeFi protocols and non-financial enterprises use the technology, immutability and irreversibility through cryptography. This is the information cannot be erased once entered, utilization of triple entry accounting and consensus systems to establish asset ownership, that is virtual currencies, securities, etc. Ability to set transaction specific business rules, provision of 1500 transactions per second as a minimum, having on-chain interoperability capability and cross-chain bridge to other blockchains, use of a secure, electronic and time-stamped transaction ledger database shared by all parties in a distributed network, comprisal of accurate and verifiable records for all transactions ever made, and auditable and irrevocable transaction history, cryptographic peer-to-peer -peer P2P networks, single source of truth and irrefutable proof of existence, process, and provenance. And the final one is smart contracts, immutable terms recorded in computer language and automatically executed. Why do EGB networks play an important role in mass adoption? The traditional financial industry is witnessing a daily increase in advocacy towards the adoption of distributed ledger technology. Blockchain technology in particular has shown immense potential. For financial institutions, it promises considerable savings in infrastructure, transactionality, and administrative costs. Moreover, it can disintermediate the digital transfer of financial assets, reducing the role of central counterparties, and can also improve trust, accuracy, and resilience in financial ecosystems. So why are we not seeing a broad adoption of blockchains within the traditional financial markets? Well, there is a lack of layer one blockchain technology able to ease the financial market's regulatory concerns while providing secure, fast, coefficient, and scalable transactions. Now, everyone within the crypto space agrees that all cryptocurrency transactions must remain anonymous and P2P without the need for a third party. Nevertheless, what if we have a new generation of blockchains that are able to provide an optional KYC feature to financial institutions. By default, they provide anonymous transactions when DeFi protocols and non-financial enterprises use them. This will lead to massive adoption of blockchain technology in both traditional financial markets and consumer-based decentralized applications. So what are some potential use cases of EGB networks in the financial markets? Well, the first use case is commercial banking. New and competitive products and services introduction, cryptocurrency denominated products, example Tinker or SolidX, asset and real estate tracking, physical asset registration, for example, house, land, automobile, marketplace, P2P and syndicated lending, real-time loan funding and automated servicing via smart contracts, personal financial management, PFM, liquidity management, cash reserve management and intrabank settlements, and customer acquisition and loyalty management. Another use case would be payments. This would involve micropayments or retail payments, wholesale payments, such as correspondent banking network, cross-border FX, P2P payments such as BTC Jam, Codius, or Bitbond, payments processing, 
Example Coinbase or BitPay. Exchange offerings in virtual wallet. Example BitReserve or BitPesa. And currency exchange in cross-border remittances. For example, Ripple, Kraken, MeXBT, Coinbase Wallet. Another use case would be risk management. And this would be risk audit, risk underwriting, counterparty risk management, fraud risk management, identity theft prevention, liquidity risk management, capital risk management, systemic risk management management, real-time global view, and operational risk improvements. Another use case would be trade and supply chain finance, which would involve real-time multi-party tracking and management of letters of credit, bank payment obligations, open account instruments, debt servicing, insurance and factoring, receivables, financing, commodities trade finance, decentralized contracts execution, document preparation services such as trusted private e-doc exchange, real-time review, and approval of documents and interaction between import and export banks, thus eliminating the role of correspondent banks. Another use case would be capital markets. This would include clearing and settlement, such as Hyperledger or Serica, trade execution, so real-time transaction matching and automated DVP on cash ledger, post-trade, trade reconciliation, trade reporting, monitoring and surveillance, custody and security servicing. This would include escrow and custodian services, asset documentation, record keeping, derivatives transaction, and asset documentation, registries, servicing, and exchange. And the final use case is regulatory compliance. This includes automate compliance activities execution, example real-time regulatory control limits enforcement, regulatory process optimization, example in AML, KYC, CDD, KYC AML registries. Sanctions, enforcement, tools for regulators, example for parsing real-time feed from FIs, audit trail for compliance verification, and regulator reporting automation through smart contracts, DL as golden source, and unified regulatory reporting protocols. Now, EGB networks can definitely disrupt the traditional financial markets, central banks, commercial banks, Stock exchanges and many other financial sector players keenly explore blockchain's potential. According to the World Economic Forum report published in August 2016, over 24 countries are investing in blockchain. Over 90 corporations are part of the blockchain consortia and over 2,500 blockchain patents have been filed over the past three years. Additionally, over 90 central banks worldwide are engaged in blockchain discussions. In terms of funding over the past three years, 1.4 billion US dollars has been invested through venture capital to explore blockchain usage in the financial sector industry. Recently, various blockchain technology platforms have been and are being developed. Over 300 technology startups, mainly in the UK and the US, have been working on enabling blockchain for the financial sector space. Crack BTC Jam, Hello Block, Block Cipher, Bifu Bao, Digital Tangible Trust, Ripple Labs, Coinbase, BitPay, and BitPagos, to name a few. Established technology vendors have played a vital role in the blockchain ecosystem. For example, R3, IBM, Consensus, and Chain are the key players in the global blockchain technology market. Also, regulators and policymakers of the financial sector have begun focusing on blockchain adoption. FinCEN, Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC and Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, are just a few examples. Now, some examples of problems that the EGB networks can solve within the traditional financial markets are real-time review and approval of financial documents, linked and accessible through EGB networks, thereby reducing shipment initiation time, reduced counterparty risk, bills of lading tracked through EGB networks. This eliminates the chance of double spending, transparent factoring, invoices accessed on EGB networks enable transparent and real-time view into subsequent short-term financing. Disintermediation. By facilitating trade finance via EGB networks, banks do not need a trusted intermediary. This eliminates the need for correspondent banks. Ownership transparency. Title available inside EGB networks offers transparency into ownership and location of goods. Decentralized contract execution. As soon as the contract terms are met, status gets updated on EGB networks in real time. This reduces the effort and time needed for monitoring the goods delivery. Regulatory transparency. Regulators are enabled 
real-time view of the essential documents to assist in AML and enforcement activities, and reduced transaction fees and automated settlement. Contract terms that are executed through smart contract eliminate the need for additional transaction fees and correspondent banks. So due to the lack of a layer one blockchain technology, able to ease the financial markets regulatory concerns. While providing secure, fast, coefficient and scalable transactions, this is where Corium as the first enterprise grade blockchain is ready to disrupt the traditional financial market and make history. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content comment down below and like and share this video. Thank you for tuning in. Pink Digital News, signing out.